Hey everybody, uh, you may be wondering why I decided to call the book The Impossible Bow, because obviously there are PVC pipe bows everywhere, but I call it The Impossible Bow because there have never really been you know, PVC bows that could stack up to other bows in terms of design and performance. Because when you deal with PVC pipe bows, it's usually you take a PVC pipe, put a string on it, that's the bow. And just right off the bat, you have a lot of inherent problems with it that you can't really fix with just the pipe. But by flattening the limbs and doing it in such a way that you're actually able to, to evenly distribute the strain along the entire all of the limbs of the bow. It results in a bow that's more stable when shooting. The plastic itself holds up a lot longer than a regular PVC pipe bow because it doesn't fatigue in one spot. Chances of it failing dramatically are a lot lower because of that, that more even bending. And, you know, it, it draws like a traditional bow should, and it shoots really quick, just like a traditional bow should. You know, it's, it's got the speed. I would say that this, compared to a lot of fiberglass bows of the same size, you know, performs just as well, if not better than some. You know, this, this still is not a substitute to a well-made, you know, fiberglass laminated wooden bow, or of well-crafted modern recurve, but considering what it takes to put into this, you know, this will stand up to a lot of bows out there, and in its own right, I think, deserves respect as well. And, you know, if you just think about it, and you just look at how it is, this bow doesn't really look like it should exist. It shouldn't exist. It shouldn't work. Taking a PVC pipe, flattening it, and bending it shouldn't make a bow, but it does. And that's why I decided to name my book The Impossible Bow. So if you're interested, check it out. It's on Amazon. And thank you for watching my video. Bye.